131, here we are with example three. So let's read through this problem and see if we can be on the listen for a couple of things. Now, when I say a couple of things, our standard questions, right? What are the variables? Right, what was X and what was Y? Was I given a slope? Was I given ordered pairs? Some of each? So those are your general questions that you'll be asking you, yourself when you come across these word problems. So let's see, it says a phone company has a monthly cellular data plan where a customer pays a flat monthly fee of $10 and then a certain, amount of, a certain amount of money per megabyte of data used on the phone. If the customer uses 20 megabytes, the monthly cost will be $11.20. If the customer uses 130 megabytes, the monthly cost will be $17.80. Find a linear equation for the monthly cost of the data plan as a function of x, the number of megabytes used. Interpret the slope and y-intercept of the equation and then use your equation to find the total monthly cost if 250 megabytes were used. Okay, so as I'm going through this, in terms of the variables, it looks like we have the amount of data you're using, right? The number of megabytes used, and then how much it will cost you. And, and they tell you right here what X is, right? We see X is the number of megabytes used. So not only do they tell you your X variable, they're also calling it X. All right, and I see this, this part that says find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, right, they're telling me to use the letter y also. The only other variable in here is the monthly cost. So x is the number of megabytes used, and y is the monthly cost for these cell phones, or for this cell phone, and the units on this one are dollars. All right, so those are my variables. I know my x and my y. Was I given a slope or was I given ordered pairs? And if we just look at the units, I see 20 megabytes, $11.20. A lot more megabytes, 130 megabytes, and $17.80. So I see two ordered pairs. On top of that, they're asking me to find a linear equation. Right? It's not quadratic. We don't even know exponentials and logarithmics. It's saying use a linear model. So we're going to go ahead and find y equals mx plus b. So let's try and do this. Okay, I'm gonna take note of my two ordered pairs. Let's write those down. We had 20 and then $11.20. I also had 130 and $17.80. All right, from here I can find the slope. So this would be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's see, I could probably do this in my head. 17 minus 11 is 6, 80 minus 20 is 60. So this is 660. And then 130 minus 20 is 110. Just right now, I always think it's a good idea to look at the units. So if I was gonna put another fraction bar here and think of the units, this is dollars and this is megabytes. Now I do want to simplify this, so let's see what we would have here. I would take 660 and divide it by 110. So it looks like I'm paying about $0.06, or another way of saying that is six cents per megabyte. All right, so this winds up being $0.06 dollars per megabyte, or you could say it in words as I pay about six cents Per megabyte of data. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Let's go back to A. It says find a linear equation. So I haven't found the linear equation yet. All I've done is find a slope. I have a slope. I have two points, so I can use the point slope form of the line. Again, like always, I'm going to use the one with the smaller numbers. So let's go with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so y minus $11.20 will be equal to, I need to use my slope of 0.06, and the reason I need to use 0.06 is because this is 0 0.06 dollars, and these units here are dollars. It would be incorrect for me to use six, because this is different units. This is cents, and this was dollars. All right, so I have 0.06 times x minus 20. 
So working through this, we're going to have y minus 1120 is equal to 0.06x. All right, um, actually I can do this in my head. 0 0.06 times, or 6 times 2 is 12. Move the decimal over, so this would be minus 1.2. If I add $11.20 over, I will ultimately have y equaling 0.06x. And I'm going to gain a dollar. Oh, that's going to be nice. This should be plus 10. Let me just check my math. I think I'm right, but I don't want to get too, too in my head. So I had negative 1.2 plus 11.2. Yep, 10 bucks. Okay, great. So there is my linear model. Okay. And, and that was, that's the question asked of me in part A. So here is my answer in part A. Now, I, I do want to go, I shouldn't have um, bubbled it. Let me go one step further and actually write it in function notation. So I'm going to move this up because I'm going to need more space to work on the next few parts. But let me go ahead and write this in function notation. Okay, so we'll say we know f of x is equal to 0.06x plus 10. All right, there is my nice answer. Okay, all right, so there's part A. Part B says interpret the slope and interpret the y-intercept. So I'm going to owe myself some sentences. So let's go ahead and interpret the slope. All right, so I want to give you or start to give you a template for slope because I will ask you to interpret the slope and I want to make sure you can you can you can do it. So this should say for every one unit increase in x the average increase or decrease in y is, and we'll say blank units. All right, so go ahead, take a moment, write that down, and then we're gonna start erasing and putting in the correct numbers and the correct context for this particular problem. Okay, so let's see what we got here. For every one unit increase in x, so the units on x are megabytes, so for every one megabyte increase in the number of megabytes used, because that's what x is equal to, so let me write that. So for every one megabyte increase, and because I'm going to run out of space, I'm going to make this the number one. All right, so for every one megabyte increase in number of megabytes used, The average, now, did y increase or decrease? Well, because the slope was positive, we had an increase. So the average increase in y, and y in this case was cost, right? The average increase in monthly cost of the data plan I'm going to run out of room, so I'll move this over for just a moment. All right, the average, uh, the average increase in monthly cost of the data plan is blank units. Okay, so how much did it increase by? Well, by $0.06, dollars. or really you could say by $0.06, cents. but I'll keep the units consistent. So this increased by $0.06 which is basically saying six cents, All right? So that's what it's, our slope's telling us that for this phone plan, this phone company, every extra megabyte you use is gonna cost you six more cents. And that's interpreting the slope. And that's all fine and good, but don't forget they asked us to also interpret the y-intercept. Well, here's my y-intercept, all right? 
It's the ordered pair 0, 10. So let's think about the units on this. What are the units on 0? And what are the units on 10? Well, 0 is an x value, and the units for the x's are megabytes. Right? 10 is a y value, and the units on the y's are dollars. So this is saying when a customer uses 0 megabytes, the phone company will still charge them $10. And that was actually in the original problem. It said that you had a flat monthly fee of $10. So for the y-intercept, right, so when the customer, or I should say when a customer, uses zero megabytes, right, the monthly cost of the data plan is $10. Let me scoot this up just so we can see. Oh, you can still see it. Okay, data plan is $10. All right. Or you could say that, that the company has a flat monthly fee of $10. That's another way of saying it. All right. So with that, let's keep on going. It says use your equation, so use this function, to find the total monthly cost if 250 megabytes are used. All right, so I'm giving you this 250 megabytes. Is that an X value or is that a Y value? Well, we know the units on the X's are megabytes and the units on the Y's are dollars. If I'm giving you megabytes, this is an X value. So I'm gonna plug it in for X and see what Y is equal to. All right, so let me scooch this up just a little bit more so we have some space to work here. All right, here we go. So for part C, I want F of, it was 250. So this is going to be 0.06 times 250 plus 10. Let's go see how much I'm going to be paying this month for my cell phone. So let me clear this out. We had 0.06 times 250 plus that flat fee of $10. It looks like the number is 25, but the units on this would be dollars, right? So here, the monthly cost for 250 megabytes is $25. And I usually start to get questions, do I need to write things up in sentences? Yeah, yeah you do. Welcome to the word problem side of things. We want to start to articulate what all of these numbers mean. Again, we have technology that can help us get these numbers, but we need humans to tell us what they mean. So that's what this means. If you're going to use 250 megabytes of data, this cell phone company is going to charge you 25 bucks that month. All right, so with that, we're going to flip over to our last word problem. I will see you in a few, gang. Bye.